Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, it's late in the day on Thursday. It's a little after five. I have made several attempts to film something today and they all ended horribly. I didn't like any of it, so I'm not gonna post any of it. Today's been a rough day. I had that ocular migraine yesterday. Now I've explained, or I thought I explained, in my imagination I explained it, an ocular migraine for me. Everybody's different, but for me, when I get an ocular migraine, my vision gets all wonky and I see like the little amoeba, weird colored lights, and they go from one side of my vision over to the other, and then it's done. 20 minutes to a half an hour tops. And then it's like nothing ever happened at first. Then I feel the aftermath. Aftermath for me is feeling like shit. And I kind of feel like, I, uh, like I'm just worn down, exhausted, and maybe a dull melon ache. That's exactly what happened to me. So last night I was just like, Ugh. I, I, I didn't feel like doing anything and I didn't do anything other than go get us dinner. So I had a good dinner. I just chilled on the couch after I posted the video and that was that. Went to bed, fell asleep, didn't even get through one YouTube video and was out cold. Didn't wake up pretty much the entire night, slept straight through, got a good night's sleep. The app told me I got a good night's sleep too. I was all on the green, which doesn't happen very often. So I was pretty happy about that. But when I woke up, I knew that yesterday I'd had an ocular migraine because I could feel it. But I thought, okay, I had a massage scheduled for today and I was gonna go to the chiropractor. So I did both of those things and I think I feel a hell of a lot better now than I would have had I not had those things done. So yay, I'll take it for a win. Now, all that being said, it has left me a little bit more monkey-brained, scatterbrained, and I'm not finishing my sentences, you know, like I'm just, you know, it's not really all there. And that's what happens. So I haven't taken ibuprofen in a long time. I'm trying to clean myself out of everything. So when I did the whole, all right, I had a health scare, I decided to change my diet and the way that I lived and ended up losing a bunch of weight from it and all that kind of shit. And since then I sort of added some stuff back and I don't think that my body likes that I added it back. And I've had more problems with headaches or joint aches or fatigue and all that kind of stuff, which is different from how I was like after that first week when I lost five pounds that first week and I had all that energy and I was so excited, not feeling that way now. And clearly it's because I've introduced some of the foods back in that I probably just shouldn't. Thinking that, yeah, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna have it and I'm gonna enjoy it. Yeah, well, I enjoyed it at the time, but now I'm not enjoying the aftermath of it all. So I need to go back to being a little bit more strict uh, you know, as far as what I eat so that I feel better more often than not. Okay, all that being said, when I'm like this, and I have explained this before, I've pretty much had a headache for 25 years and I can deal with it most of the time. Sometimes I can't, that's when you don't poke the angry monkey. But when I get a stomach ache, I am a big, fat, whiny baby. I absolutely do not like having a stomach ache and I, I'm just, I'm miserable. I'm miserable to be around. I'm miserable even to myself. And I go to a darker place and couple that with the headache. And then it's even worse. And that's when my wife just doesn't even bother trying to talk to me. I don't bother to try to be around her or anyone else. And I just sort of sit there and stew in my negative thoughts. Well, yesterday, last night, I was pretty negative and I didn't like it. And I vowed that I wasn't gonna do that today, which is why I peeled my ass out of bed even though I didn't want to. And I went and got my massage and I got my adjustment at the chiropractors and I've eaten pretty good today. And I have to drink a lot more fluid because even the masseuse was like, dude, I beat your ass up today. You need to drink a lot of water. So I'm working on that. But damage is done because my thoughts yesterday were not good thoughts and they just took me down a negative road. And that happens, it happens to us all, whether you're having a stomach problem or a head problem or whatever, sometimes shit just doesn't work out the way you want. You can't formulate your thoughts right. 
And sometimes whatever your thoughts are, you can't formulate them in your speech or in your actions. And that's where I was last night. So pretty much last night, I didn't want to ever pick up a camera again. I'm sick of people, fuck people, I hate them. I don't want to take pictures of any human being ever again. All my stuff sucks. What am I even doing? There's no point. I'm getting fat again. You know, I should just give up, you know, do the white shoes with the comb over and all that. Well, now I just messed my hair up, uh, you know, and just like be miserable. Okay, so I had that. I had a good night's sleep. I had some great dreams and I woke up this morning feeling a lot better, even though I still feel like ugh, kind of run down with the dull headache and all that shit. But definitely my mindset is a lot different. So all that shit. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes, people do annoy me, you know, because I can't seem to get anybody to commit to doing a photo shoot with me and I don't know why. So I'm looking inwards because it is possible that I might be putting on a creep factor or who knows, whatever, but I need to do, I need to do better on, on my communication for that kind of shit. Now, one big thing that turned my mind around today, I had gotten up, I had a great night's sleep, I had my massage, before I left to go to the chiropractor, I checked my email in the car because I don't take my phones or anything in because they're constantly dinging and buzzing and all that shit. So I pulled out my phone and I saw that I got a message on ViewBug. Okay. You know, sometimes it's just crap. They're trying to get you to go into a contest or, or you know, somebody's trying to get you to, you know, do something scammy. This was a legitimate message from another photographer on the site. And it was a day changing message where they said that like one of their photographic goals was to be able to take pictures like I do. I get those from time to time. And it seems I get those at the right time when I'm feeling the worst about myself and f about my craft and my creativity. And you know, when I'm sitting there thinking all oh, my stuff sucks, why do I even bother and all that kind of shit? I might as well just get rid of all my gear. So there was a very, very, very nice kick in the head today to get me out of that negative space that was still kind of lingering and make me realize that I actually do take pretty good pictures and that I kind of know what I'm doing. Photography wise, I still am like a complete lunatic when it comes to video, but we'll get there. That's, that's the point of this. It's part of the journey. So it was very nice to get that. And it made me think about how over the past, I'm gonna say 10 years ish, probably more than that. It's probably more like 15 years. I, in the past, when I first started doing this, I joined every site that I could join. I did everything that I could to try to, to just immerse myself in photography. Well, the monkey doesn't always think about what he says and, and repercussions from that. Especially if you knew me in person. Well, if you watch my videos, you know me. You know what I'm like. I don't hold my tongue. I say whatever the hell I want to. And if you don't like it, I don't care. That's gotten me into some not great situations at times. And you know, you always gotta pay the piper. So one of the things that does not translate well on the internets is sarcasm. I can be a sarcastic douche. In fact, I usually am. And you know, I mean, if I'm standing in front of you and we're talking and all that kind of stuff, you'll get it. If you've known me for any length of time, you get it, you understand it. You know that a lot of times I'm just poking fun and, and you know, I'm being a smart ass. But that doesn't come across if you say leave a sarcastic message to somebody on the internet. I did, it did not go over well. And the repercussions from it basically carried over for those past 15 years and that I usually don't comment on other creators, well, and now videos, uh, or pictures, definitely pictures, unless I know you, like personally know you. There have been a rare few exceptions. Those of you that watch my stuff that I comment to, you know who you are, and there's very few of those. I don't comment on people's stuff because of my dumbassery 15 years ago. We'll just say 15 years. And it, it has made me very gun shy 
about saying anything because I just don't want to go through that shit again of having whatever I say misconstrued, misunderstood, or just downright wrong about what my sentiment was for whatever I may say. And I have been also fond of telling you, my fine friends, that you can't please people. And if you're doing any of this creative shit to please other people, you're going down a really, really lonely, dark, awful road because you'll never please everybody. You might please some people, but you'll never please everybody. And if you're out there busting your ass trying to please everybody, it's gonna be an awful trip for you because you can't, you absolutely cannot. And I have told this, sort of made this analogy before. If you're going by a building and it's on fire and you don't give a shit about what happens to yourself, you bolt into that building and you pull out a box of puppies and you get on the news and they're like, local you know, hero saves box of puppies. You're gonna get some assholes that say, well, why didn't you pull the cats out? Freaking cat hater. Or why'd you even bother with the dogs? Why didn't you go look for people? Are you kidding me? Okay, so if you go in now and you come across the second building and you're like, all right, this time I'm getting the damn kittens. You run in, you grab the kittens, you run back in, you get the dogs. Why didn't you grab the snakes? What, you fucking hate snakes? Or again, you hate people? Kinda. Huh. All right, the point is, is that no matter what you do, there are gonna be people that will like it, whatever it is you've done. They're going to praise you for it, but there's also going to be a bunch of assholes that are gonna give you nothing but grief for it. And you could take a world-changing photo of something and people are gonna be like, that was amazing. You were an amazing photographer. You're gonna equally get probably just as many assholes, but it only takes one. We all know that. It only takes one asshole to make one asshole comment to completely ruin your day. But you're gonna get that person that even if you took like this latest picture, this web telescope thing of all these galaxies far away, you're gonna get some jackasses gonna come and say, that's just Photoshop, he didn't take that picture. And even if he did, if he had just done this, or maybe if he'd done that, or if he'd used this lens, you know, because they know better, they're gonna tell you and they're gonna dissect what you've done and they're gonna ridicule you for it and they're gonna make you feel like shit. Now, everyone says, no one has power over you only you have power over you. And if you're going to take somebody's comment and let them live in your brain rent free and mess with you and make you feel bad, well, that's your fault because no one has the power to do that other than you. You've given them permission to work you. F screw that shit. If someone says something messed up to you and they ridicule you for what you've done, it doesn't matter. It still makes you feel like shit. And it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. People will go out of their way to ridicule you, to cut you down, and to make you feel like shit. It sucks, it's horrible, it shouldn't happen, and I, I still can't fathom why people literally go way the hell out of their way to cut me up and to make me, or try to make me feel like shit about something that I've done, but it happens. It happens all the time, and most of the times, I just sort of giggle and be like, yeah, fuck you, you know? Like, seriously, you, you, Sorry, why did you even- did you say that again? She heard me. She just didn't like what I said. But the point being is that, yes, people are going to be assholes to you. And yes, you should just kind of like brush it off. But that's easier said than done. It still hurts. Why am I telling you this? Because somebody went out of their way today to compliment me on my pictures. And it was a game changer for my day. I've been having a shit week. As far as my health goes, I felt like crap. I felt like crap about myself. And that comment helped break me out of that and make me feel good. That's what you should be doing. Go out of your way to praise somebody, to just let them know that you liked their video or you liked something that they said, or you liked the picture that they made, or you liked the painting that they created, or you liked the dance that they did, whatever, you know? It's just as easy to go on there and praise somebody as it is to go on there and dump on somebody and make them feel like shit. 
And if doing that makes you feel good, you got some serious problems and you need to look inside yourself and figure out why you, you relish being a douchebag because it ain't cool. All right, that's all I wanted to say today because I went from shit to sunshine, all in a comment. And I think that letting you know about the power of that is something that I just, I wanted to let you know about. So if you're watching somebody's video today and you liked it, give them a like. Drop a comment and say, hey dude, thanks, that really helped. Or hey, you know what? That was pretty cool footage, whatever. Go out of your way to be nice. Don't go out of your way to be a douchebag because that's not cool. Okay, off my soapbox, that's all I wanted to say. It's all you're getting today because all my shit sucked this morning before that comment. <laughs> all right, so that's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.